Welcome, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a super fast command prompt. I've started by creating an input field and an empty game object called debug. Now I will create a script and call it debug command prompt and let's open it up in Visual Studio. We will have a list of objects that can um, that we can send messages to. So we need to be using system collections generic. And we will be using link to help us uh, search that list for the objects we want to send a, a command to. So we will be using system.link. So when we receive a message, we will go through our listeners and find the object uh, with the corresponding name and send our message to that object. We want game objects to be able to add themselves uh, as listeners. If it already doesn't exist in the listener list, we will add them. So, for instance, we will add ourselves. So we add our own game object as a listener, so we will be able to send commands to this debug command prompt class or instance. And then we need to find the game object, so we need to search through our listeners. And this is where we can use link. So we will look for the object with the name corresponding to the first part in our string, the game object name. And we will either get an object or null. And then we take the game object and send a message to it. So send message works like it will go through every component on that game object and send the message to those components.
and we will send uh, the name of the method we want to use on that game object. And as a per perimeter, send in the rest of the, the input. Like so. Yes, for an example, we will create a method that we can call from the from the command prompt. And let's just log the input. So back in Unity, we need to make sure that the text in the input field is sent to our debug command prompt. So we have here on end edit string. We send in the debug object make sure our debug command prompt class is on it and debug command command so now the text will be sent to our command method so if I type in debug which is the name of game object dot create sphere hello a box is created and the rest is logged and we got a little bit too much information there the that last parenthesis is not supposed to be there so let's head over to Visual Studio Let's change this to a 4, like so. Sorry, let's save. There you go. So this is a quick way to get you started, uh, not the most advanced example, but I usually need uh, only a little bit of functionality to change certain states, maybe to cheat when I'm debugging, be able to spawn objects or get into inv invisibility mode or whatever. And that's all for this video, please like and subscribe and enjoy.